Good morning, modern steaders. <laughs> it's raining out this morning, guys. We're supposed to get an inch of rain today, which is a good thing. We haven't had a lot of rain this summer, which <laughs> is surprising. <sighs> it's been so wet here the last two years to actually get a dry spell's nice. Is that keeping you nice and dry? I'm gonna feed you inside this morning. I'll feed you in here, come on. There you go. What's the matter, you don't like celery? Or beets? Man. Boy there, pork, you're getting pretty big. The rain must be making the boys sleepy. Morning, boys. Hey, you can come out when you're ready. They're ready for some hay. We just launched some new merch. We got some new hats. We got a leather patch hat. We got two other design hats. We have sweatshirts with the Alumna Acre logo. We got a pretty cool crazy white chicken shirt that one of y'all designed for us. Guys, you'll have to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. I wanted to wear my crazy white chicken t-shirt this morning, but it's only 56 degrees out. Burr. Willow. Is that some good breakfast? You ready? Oh, go see your babies. Good morning, Hope. I don't think they'll venture outside this morning while it's raining. How you doing on water? Oh, little pig, good morning. Hope's like, what about me, what about me? Yes, good morning, Hope. Goats are so funny, they do not like going out in the rain. They don't even like going out there for a little while, guys. <laughs> Today they'll probably be hanging out at the barn all day long. I was hoping to get some of the siding on the carport today. But that ain't gonna happen in the rain. We got a couple of other, we got a couple of other projects we need to tackle. Come on, guys. Cleaned out NYC yesterday, so they got some nice fresh bedding to play in. Hopefully that'll keep the eggs from getting muddy today during the rain. Curious how much rain we're getting. Oh, that bucket's almost to the top, guys. <laughs> Morning, Moose. That's the other thing, if it's not raining out, we gotta fill up the rainwater buckets. Won't have to do that for a little while now. Come on, guys. Goats are staring at you through the half door. Yeah, they're on the bunk beds. We do need some lights. We'll have to open the door. Yeah, that's your natural light for the day. Hey, why do you have 
Well, you had the same much as me. I had mine on first. You must be about the female one. Nice and cozy. Yeah. So today, since it's raining, we can't work on the fire this year. We have a few projects we can do down here. We have the door for the milking room. Or we can work on the hay feeders that I built. We can upgrade them a little bit there. The goats keep pulling the hay out super easy. So which one do you want to do? I think that do the hay feeder. The hay feeders? We're making a mess, wasting hay. They're wasting a ton of hay. I found a really super simple way to make the angle of the door look nice like this just using a skill saw, guys. I have all that footage saved and I want to make a bonus video when we get the door all made up of how to build a barn door that's going to look like that. Using a skill saw and a straight edge. It's going to come out really nice. So we'll save the video of the barn door, finishing up the barn door for a bonus video maybe next week. We'll have to see how that goes. I was able to find some pallet rack shelving locally the other day. And we're gonna use this for part of our hay feeder. I think we can cut it with the bolt cutters. Let's bring it in the barn and get some measurements. Right. Yes, eight feet, perfect, and then 42 inches, that's good. I think we need 18 inches. Let's go out back and take a few measurements. The goats are able just to get their head in there and pull all the hay out. And look at this huge mess they make. And if the hay touches the ground, they won't eat it. So, first we're gonna try just putting that mesh inside. If we have to, we can take out these angle slots. But I don't think we're gonna need that. I wanna see how deep. Okay, so that's 21. Curious to see how this is gonna cut. Oh, that goes good. Just a little bit of effort. Last one. Holy moly. I was gonna put this one out first, but let's go measure for one of the corner feeders. I know the babies are locked out of their stall right now. What have you, what are these, do you have a container from them? I don't, those were from a shipping container I took apart that the door came in. So we'll have to find a container. Yeah, Phillips had, so they're just a little different. So now, this piece, what is from here to here is, Okay, oh, each around 30 something inches. We should be able to get three, and that's what we need. All right, we gotta get our bigger bolt cutters. The other ones didn't have long enough handles for leverage. So we wanna go around here. There we go. That works. Can't get pulled back out. Should be able to get in there. Get the feed. And the way it'll work. The work is they'll get in and they'll pull it and it doesn't fall out. They're gonna work it. That's gonna work good. Aww. Here. 
feel like the goats are going to want to help me install this one. I'm going to leave my tape measure in here. Less for them to try to eat. You're going to want to help me install this, Hope? I think you're going to. That's the good stuff, Hope. Here. You want the GoPro or you want the drill? Like itty bitty babies, they want to be able to see them. Yeah, I would. Like this. Hold her head so she like can't. Like just kind of, and she's like, oh, I love it. And then you have to get your clothes off. Right? Okay. See, they can get their muzzle in there. Yeah, but what if it's just, well, it'll fall down. It'll fall down. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. You like that, Hope? Oh, likes anyway. And put this one in. We might make a couple of notches here and there. So let me grab this. Uh, right, so I'm gonna put this one in this way. Just needed some persuasion. I have to staple in the bottom. And then I'll go get stapled. We'll get that stapled in. You like the new feeder? Yeah. What are you yeah. doing down there, huh? I think it's funny she likes going in the corner when she has the whole feeder open. She wants to go to that one little spot where she's really gonna work. Oh, I'll put that in the boys' stall while you do that. I'll try. It's gonna be a good day for beef stew. I'm gonna upgrade your feeder. Nice. And the boys get them too. Just look at all the hay they had wasted with that feeder. They just go in before they could go in and just pull it out. Now they'll be forced to just take a little bit at a time. Still be some waste, but not as much. Well, all the hay feeders have been updated. We get the boys some more water. Ready to make a run for it? You don't want to run? Okay. You got my raincoat on. I know, I'm getting hungry too. Uh, snack time! I decided since it's a cold, rainy, yucky day, it's a good day for beef stew and homemade crescent rolls. Never made homemade crescent rolls before. No, but I've been looking at the Prairie Homestead cookbook. <laughs> She's got a pretty neat recipe. I'm gonna try it out. I'll find out, right?
of those crazy weird shaped eggs. The wrinkle. We've been bit. getting like one a day. Uh, Every other day. Uh, probably at least five a week. But they're the largest eggs we have too. Yeah, the rest of the calls from one large egg, so. Look up at the maple tree. Yeah. See the orange leaves? Yeah. Man, that means fall's coming. Yeah. Oh, I still don't need the celery. What's the matter there, piggies? You don't like celery? It's good for you. You like that feeder there, Blossom? Works good, huh? Possible to get on her mama. You gonna on your mama's back? She's standing on Magnolia's back. Yeah, I know that's exactly what she just did to Willow. You crazy. Say we're missing one. Blossom's inside eating and the rest is staring at us. Ready to go feed the chickens before we get too wet? Yeah. Since we put fresh wood shavings in yesterday, I wonder if the eggs will be nice and clean. It'd be nice, huh? Hey, the cookies out again. Oh, I didn't bring the egg basket. Oh, here you go. Brought it in the basement. The cookies back out again. I think she lost her brood. Cool yeah, beans. Well, we never get the other two. I think there's only been one. Was there too? Haha, <laughs> look, none. Sweet. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> that scared me. You crazy duck. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sweet. And there. I think it was that one because it's dirtier. All nice and clean. Guys, stay over here. No mud. I like it. You ducks having fun in the rain? Looks like you are. The stew meat we're using today we got from farmfoodmarkets.com. All pasture raised grass fed meat that we get. One of the things I like about it is it's all family farmed owns that raised the animals for farm food markets. Oh, it's really sealed up good, that's a good thing. And this one label says which farm they're from. And if you go on the website, you can read about each family farm. I just find that very interesting so we can know where our meat comes from and who raises it. We're not able to raise our own cow right now, but we know who raised this one for us. I'll leave a link in the video description down below for a promo code and 10% off your order from Farm Food Markets. Oh, we haven't had beef stew in quite a while. When's the last time? A while. Oh, well, that was right. I love me some beef stew. I love all stews and soup. That's one of the things I get excited about for this time of the year. Oh. A little bit of pepper. Salt, a little, bit, a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette. This will help tenderize the meat.
Punch it down and get that frustration out. Can I punch it? Go for it. Just punch it. Just punch it. Just one punch. One punch right in there. Boom! Deflate it. Okay. Now you can break it. Oh, you want me to break it now? And then what? Push it down. Roll each half into 12 inch round. Warm up. Good. All right. Where is it? the top one. Our this one is the little one, isn't it? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, the little one. The, the top no. ones are no it's herbs. It's not the little one. Excuse me. Oh, is it this one? Yes. No oh, herbs. Mm -hmm. The bottom one are herbed. A little bit closer. Look at that butter melt. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite parts about this time of the year is being able to cook and eat stews and heavy meals like that again. Oh, I just love a good soup and a stew and these crescent rolls were fairly easy to make and they are delicious. This is going to be one of those new things we'll be making this fall and winter quite a bit to go with all these big meals. This beef stew recipe was really good. Oh, I love getting the beef from farmfoodmarkets.com. We've never been disappointed so far. The hay feeder, pretty sure that's gonna work out pretty good. I'm sure we're still gonna have some hay scraps and waste here and there, but not as much as what it was like. It kind of slows them down. I almost feel like it gives them a game to play because they have to work at getting the hay out. So keep our fingers crossed. We're gonna be saving on quite a bit of hay. Tomorrow the weather's supposed to be clear. And we're going to be working on the carport or Kubota port of the woodshed. Here's a good quote I've just seen. First time I've ever read it. There are two ways of spreading light. To be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. 
It's a good one to ponder on, guys. I'll leave the video here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.